As our story begins, we catch Phaeton, a young boy on his way back from school. I am so proud of my grades today. I can't wait to go home and tell the news to my mom. Hey, Mom? Where are you? Might have to spin up to an ID. Your father will be so proud. <laughs> what? Father? Phaeton, you are almost a full-grown man. It is time you know the truth about your father. He is not human. He is a loyal, loving God. What God? Ah, honey, the God of the sun. I'm 15. You think I would believe that? Call me chief, because I ain't buying that. <laughs> honey, I'm telling you the truth. Now go to bed. true? I could be the most popular kid in my school. Choo choo! Time to ride the train. Next stop, popularity. <laughs> so you, you won't. So you know how my dad's like never home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This might seem crazy. Well, it is crazy, but my dad is Helios God of the Sun. Ha! That's a lot of visitors, boys. <laughs> <laughs> if your dad's Helios, my dad's Poseidon. He can wipe out your dad's son with a tidal wave. Yeah! Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Disrespecting royalty like me? <laughs> this is drama. It's true. I'll prove it. <laughs> Mom, I had the worst day ever. My friends were laughing at me and they didn't believe that I'm the son of Helios. Tell me what I need to do to prove that. Helios is one of the most important gods. It's not my fault that your friends don't believe you. You must go to him. He rests on the earth every night. I'll make you a lunch. You can begin your real journey tomorrow. Now take your crumpets and peanuts and get out of my house. I really want to meet my father, but hold on a second. I'm 15 and this lady thinks she can send me out on my own? What is she, crazy? Father, find out after, after the break on Greek Myth. Are you extremely full of yourself? Want the world to always see you? Well, head on down to Pygmalion's, the best statue maker on earth and in all of the heavens. For a limited in time only, get a statue for only 2,099 gold and we'll double your offer. Call 1 800 Big Million to request a statue. No certainties are made that the statue will be good or actually made by Big Million. Welcome back to Greek Myths. We come back to Phaeton with what looks to be a red glowing wow. light in the sky. This is way better than I expected. I've never seen anything like this. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Holy guacamole! This guy's my dad? Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> my name is Phaeton. My mom said that you're my dad. Time to deal with teenage angst. Yay! <laughs> Please, if I really am your son, prove it to me so I can be sure. What? I still need to be sure. This is my son? Seriously? I don't even believe his own mother. Sounds like a girl's girl. Hey. This little man 
The only person who would take the journey over here would be someone with a god's blood, who you obviously have done. I'll prove it to you now. Name anything you want, and I'll give it to you right now. Make it quick, though. I'm a pretty busy man, you know. I want to ride the golden chariot of the sun. You and Earth Boy think that you can ride the chariot? Oh, pfft. Not even Zeus can ride it. There's only one man for the job, and that's me. So if you really think you can ride it and just have the sun set like normal, then you're wrong. Because you're not a god, you're just a little, little- Please? <laughs> Listen, you know that these horses cannot be easily controlled, and you'll probably die, right? I can't believe my son, a demigod, would want to ride in my chariot. Now I'm starting to remember why there's only one son I like, and that's the one in the sky. Do you really think you could ride a god's wild horses in space? A 15-year-old teenage boy whose mom still packs him lunch? God, this god is annoying. I know I was being dramatic, but in the end, I really do care for him, and I really want to know him. I feel bad for my dad, but my heart is set on riding that chariot. So Helios talked to Phaeton for hours, but Phaeton still didn't listen. No! Please? No! Come on! No! Approximately 10 hours later. Well, I guess an amazing god like myself cannot lie, and in the end, the sun must rise, so the answer to your question is... You can ride a chariot. First day off in 50 million years. What can I say? I'm a reliable worker. Yes! I'm so hyped! I can't believe this is happening. Me riding Helios' chariot? Sign me up. Helios brought Phaeton to the room where half-sleeping horses and the famous golden chariot were kept. Son, I think all the reins! The horses will go out of control if you don't tell them who's boss. Remember, don't fly too high, or I'll well, take the middle path like I have for centuries. I don't even care what he's saying. Do you hear what I said, son? Son! Got it, Dad! Bye! I know what my dad said, and why, but he didn't tell me how high is too high and how low is too low. Oh, I think I'm getting a little too hot now. I can't even see the ground from here. As Phaeton was looking oh, down I'm at the earth, he started to feel faint and lose control oh. of the chariot. The mighty whip of Helios fell on the horses, forcing them to go down to earth. Back on earth, people and thought that, that the world had come to I an end. As the gods watched, at first they Whoa. laughed at the boy trying to do That's God's Phaeton? work. However, things became to get out of hand and the gods started to get worried for everyone's safety. Oh no, what have I done? There's only hot sand in the desert such on earth. Oh god, I'm gonna hit Mount Olympus! Ah, I feel like E.T. Bad horsey, go up! Oh, I don't wanna die. I'm only 15 and I haven't even seen Toy Story 3 yet. I need a lighting. Move these clouds! I didn't want to kill him, but it was for the safety of mankind. And my ego. My chariot! And my son! Which I'll ever ride my chariot again for as long as I live. Which is true. As you have just experienced, Phaeton did not listen to his father and take the middle path. He almost burnt up the whole world, including Mount Olympus, which is a real shame that Phaeton could not control the chariot of the sun, which caused him to plummet to his death. Other than himself, that was the last time that Helios ever let anyone ride the chariot of the sun. He didn't want another heartbreaking scenario like this to ever happen again. And, you viewers at home, never ride the chariot of the sun along with burning up the heavens and the earth. It's not very fun when you are the one blamed for the end of the world. That's all for today, folks, and thanks for watching Greek Myths!